Hello everyone, so today I'll be uh, showing off my LEGO Iron Man collection that I have and I don't have all the minifigures but I do have a decent amount of them and I do not have any of the new ones from 2022 with the new helmet mold but once I do, I will definitely show that out. So um, here are the ones I have and if this is purely Tony Stark Iron Man, I, I do have rescue armor and some of the war machine armors but I'm just going to be showing off of the Tony Stark Iron Man minifigures today. Okay, so to start off, we should start off with um, Tony Stark himself. And here is the 2018 um, Avengers Infinity Ward one that I have. And this came from a Bricktober pack from Toys R Us when they still had them. At the time, to um, Toys R Us was closed in the US, so I was able to get my hands on this because I live in Canada. And I really like the arm printing on this. This is one of the most detailed minifigures, and I think it's the best Tony Stark. And... He has an alternate face of him being scared, just like that. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, just like that. And my second Tony Stark minifigure is the one that came with this um, Hall of Armor set. That's pretty basic, it just comes with um, this gray shirt that Owen Grady and a bunch of other minifigures wear. And it has this standard um, newer face print and just like this hair. And then you have his HUD because that's just what he has in all the other Iron Man minifigures. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this one more. And there's a few others, I'm pretty sure. But those are the two that I have. I'm pretty sure I have one more, but I cannot find where that is at the moment. Okay, so let's start off with the suit. So, here is the Mark One. And it came with this Hall of Armor set from, uh, I forget the year, I'm pretty sure 2019 when Avengers Endgame came out. And I really like this minifigure. It took them a Lego a long time to make him. But, um, yeah, you can see the back detail. It's like his suit when he first built it in the cave. And it's got the arc reactor. It's pretty simple, but nice design. I just wish that the helmet was different. Because, like, it doesn't fold. And the shape is not really accurate to how it was, but yeah and what's your opinion on this helmet mold it was first introduced in like 2016 i'm pretty sure or is it 20 2017 i'm pretty sure it's in 2016 but um yeah that's the first mark one and the next minifigure is the mark two it's pretty simple i'm pretty um this minifigure came out last year i'm pretty sure it came in the other hall of armor set that i also have i combined them both but yeah, um, the printing on this minifigure is pretty good. You got the toe printing, the foot printing. I don't know how you say that. It comes with the, the newer um, helmet mold. Not the newest one, though. So yeah, it's, the, it's not called the Mark II, but it's called the prototype suit. But it's basically the Mark II. So um, yeah, and this one just has a see-through head. And then... We have the Mark III. This one came in the Iron Monger set, but it also comes in the new 2022 set, the new Hall of Armor one. But the helmet changed. So, um, yeah, I like this helmet a lot, the older helmet. It comes with his face printing. It's just the regular standard newer head. And, yeah, um, the helmet printing has these two bolts on the top. And I really like the armor. How, like, the red contrasts with the dark red. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Let's back it up there, yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Mark III. The next minifigure we have is the Mark V. And this is one of my favorite ones. I just really like the silver. This is my, one of my favorite from the movies. The suitcase suit. I do not have the suitcase from the Iron Man 3 set, the Malibu Mansion. I wish I did, but, um, I just really like the printing. It's pretty accurate, and it, it doesn't have a face. It also came in the... Iron Man Hall of Armor set. So, yeah. And then we get to a big jump in suits. We get the Mark 17, the Heartbreaker suit from Iron Man 3. And this one I actually got from a friend. And this one came in the Iron Man 3 set with like a buggy with the Mandarin. I forget the name of the set. And it comes with a really cool out. Uh, what you the face print face uh, mask printing with blue eyes and the silver bottom. Uh, I do not have that the head to this minifigure, but it was a different head mold. I mean face printing, and um yeah the detail is not as good as the newer minifigures, but it still holds up a lot. It's pretty good. 
and it's one of my favorite ones too. And there's the back printing. You can see the um, arc reactor going around. And it's a blue arc reactor too. So yeah, pretty good minifigure. And that leads us to our next suit, the Mark 22, which came in the Avengers um, Tower set. The newer one. And yeah, he has the red arms, dark red here, and the hands are like lighter red. Comes with the newer type helmet, not the newest one though. And back printing. Most of these have back printing. I'm pretty sure all of them do. And I like the kind of like Hot Wheels type hot rod from the legs that mesh in. And yeah, it's a pretty simple minifigure, no face printing. It was never called the Hot Rod Suit. It had a name in the set, um, but I forget the name. And yeah, it's clearly based off the Mark 22. And then that leads to the Mark 30 right over here, which is the Blue Steel Armor. Also had a name for in the set, but it's clearly based off the Mark 30. And yeah, this is also one of my favorite suits. It doesn't have a face either, and he has like this samurai type um, thing from like Ninjago. I'm not sure if that's from Ninjago, I'm pretty sure it is from Ninjago. And it's a pretty good minifigure. Oh yeah, most of these so far have um, leg printing on the feet. And then we have the Mark 37. This one came in that older set that had uh what's his name red skull and his submarine and yeah this is like a scuba gear and it has a bronze printing on the face and the bottom half is actually um this kind of aqua type sand green color so yeah and it comes with the older tony stark um face and you can see that the back expression is angry And yeah, it's pretty bulky. This is what I think they should have done with the Mark 1, have like this type of armor on it, but it's fine how it is. So if I take off the armor, there's like four pieces together. And then it reveals the printing on the underside. And this is a really good looking minifigure. If they had this in red, that might be one of my favorites. It looks kind of similar to the Mark 43, but it's more slim down the center. So yeah, and then that leads to the Mark 38, the Eager Armor. I wish they made like a like a big minifig of this. It's a brick built. It doesn't look that great. One of the coolest suits, the Eager Armor. You can just move his um, thumbs or hands. It's ball joints. Everything moves. And yeah, and you can fit um Tony side of the armor. So. You can just open him up and just place him inside of the armor. Shoot. I haven't touched this armor in a long time, so that's why there's a lot of dust on it. And there we go. Just like that. That leads to the Mark 39. This is a space suit that came in the same... No, this came in the Quinjet set from like the space one with Thanos and yeah this minifigure is all white this is like the only white Iron Man I'm pretty sure and it has really cool printing on the legs it's like a dark gunmetal gray and he has the same face printing as before and you can take off this um booster pack on the back if you just take it out like so and you have some back printing. And that leads us to the Mark 41, the Bones Armor. It's black and gold. And it really looks like the one in the movie with all the armor looking like bones. And there's no face print, but yeah. And then we get to the Mark 43 from Avengers Age of Ultron. There's two versions of this minifigure. There's the one that's connected to the Hulkbuster. That's over here on the left. And on the right, we have the regular version. 
This is like the most standard Iron Man minifigure. Probably most of you have this version of the minifigure. And yeah, um, this one does not have any face printing, but um, this one does of the regular Iron Man suit. So yeah, and the differences between these two is up here in the top part of the armor where the chest is, this one it connects kind of like the armor is like weaker and I would connect to the Hulkbuster and also towards the feet. And then we get to the Mark 44, the Hulkbuster. This came in the the set from Avengers Age of Ultron. I forget the name of the set. I'll probably just have it up here or something. And yeah, and you can open it up just like that. And then place Tony inside. And this goes with all the same of the other Hulkbusters. And yeah, and his... um fingers and thumb moves on each hand and all the other limbs move and he can shoot with these um missiles right here just like that oh i lost it and i dropped him oh great and he fell to the floor oh look at him now and then we get to the mark 45 and this is like was used to be one of my favorites, but it hasn't really aged on me well. The face mask printing I don't really like, and the silver on the side, but a lot of people do like this. I used to really like it. But I do like the printing on here because there's red highlights in the armor. Also, um, from the Mark 43 to Mark 45, these do not have any foot printing on. And then I don't have the Mark 46, which is really sad, but I do have the Mark 47, which is basically the Mark 46 with just um, silver and at the bottom half. And you can see all the, the mini type arc reactors where his technology is evolving to become more of the nanotech, but it does not have any face printing. And Tony's not in the suit, so yeah. And then this leads to the Mark 50, and I really love this suit from Avengers Infinity War. Just the detail on this minifigure and just the slickness on it. And Tony's um has the his regular face printing on the underside. And I'm not really showing the both sides to these minifigures anymore because they're basically just the repeats. And he has blue eyes over here, so yeah, it's pretty cool. That leads to the Mark 85. Pretty cool. Um, kind of similar to the Mark 50, but pretty different. Every print is different, like the gold on the legs. It looks more like robust and more mechanical. The golden arms, but the head is the same. And then here's like the Mark 85 with the Avenger suit on. Nothing too special here. It came in a poly bag. So yeah. And then we get these three Iron Men. This one's based off the Avengers video game, which I haven't played, but it looks kind of accurate to how it is. And yeah, it has one of the newer um type of molds, I mean. So yeah, I can't open up. And then there's this one, which kind of looks like the Mark 42. Looks inspired by the Mark 42. And it has also that newer type of head mold, but it's not the newest one. And it's all mostly gold. And then we got this comic book, Iron Man. This is just a classic Iron Man. I also really like this one a lot. This one actually uses the head mold pretty well. And yeah, it's just a classic Iron Man with the bright red. It's the only one that's actually like red, red. And yeah, we also, I skipped out on this Hulkbuster. Is it the, it's the Mark 48. The Mark 49 is the rescue armor, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and it has the same features as the other Hulkbuster. It's just more built at the top. And then we got the Mark 44 Avengers Age of Ultron, kind of like UCS type Hulkbuster back here. And there is a light that lights up back in there. But I'm not sure if I built it wrong or the way it is, but I can't really turn it on. I have to like take apart a piece. 
And then we got these two Iron Man type max armors, which aren't really based off anything, which I I think they're not based off anything. So yeah. And one last minifigure that I forgot. This was the I, Tony Stark I was talking about. It's this Mark 7, I'm pretty sure, or Mark 8. I'm pretty sure it's based off the Mark 8. And yeah, it's like his suit getting built when he falls in the air. And I actually really like this one because you can like use it for stop motion and make him build. Or you can make it a battle damage Iron Man. And yeah, it just has the regular face printing. So yeah, that's all my Lego Iron Mans that I have. And if you like the video, um, comment, like, subscribe, and share the video. And what's your favorite Iron Man minifigure and what's your collection? I'm sure many of you have a bigger collection than me and have all the Iron Mans, in fact. And some of you may only have one or two of them. And so tell me which one is your favorite or one that you would really like to have. For me, I would really like to have the Silver Centurion armor, the Mark 33. And yeah, so I'll see you on the next video. And remember, the key to a happy life is a Lego one.